Well, new today, parents are pushing back after a Fentress County school announced a graduation dress code with graduation day two weeks out. Seniors at Alvin C. York Agriculture Institute say it's too short of a notice, but the school says students won't walk across the stage unless they follow the dress code. Reporter Mary Klingler is in Fentress County this evening with the very latest. Yeah, just about two weeks out till graduation. Students just finding out they're going to have a dress code and it's pretty strict. You might be wondering, how does this have an impact on students? Well, some parents say they've already purchased their outfits for graduation and this is going to change everything. As I told Austin, I said, you'll wear your locket if I got to tape it to the top of your hat. They can kiss my grits. According to a release from the school yesterday, girls are required to wear dark sundresses with black shoes. For boys, blue or black pants and a white button up. I mean, if they had been a little less specific about it and said, hey, you can't wear jeans with holes in them, you need nice Sunday dress type clothes, and if you don't wear something appropriate, we're not going to let you go. Well, that would make sense. Bobby Lynn Dill says her son Austin was hoping to bring a memento across the stage, a locket inside his departed grandmother. Locket with his Nana's picture that hangs off his tassel. He's not going to be able to use that now, and he lost her last year. Overall, some tough news for both parents and students, but they say they're not going to let it ruin their graduation. Back to you. Mary, thank you. Now, parents on the other side of the argument say they are happy to abide by the new dress code, noting students last year showed up to graduation in pajamas. Now, we reached out to the school, but they were not allowed to speak to the media.